Hello and welcome back to another vintage jewelry haul. I just can't help myself. I keep hitting up all the yard sales and I just have to buy more jewelry for my collection. These two pieces are from the first yard sale I went to of the day and this sale was the whole reason that I wanted to go yard sailing that weekend in the first place because it was listed on Facebook and of course they listed vintage jewelry on it. I'm a little sad I didn't get more. There just wasn't a lot of stuff that I was into. So this necklace here, I just really love the style of this. Probably um, just transfer wear. It's nothing really spectacular and I don't know if you can see it but the um, shininess is kind of peeling off of there. It's not really valuable I don't think but I really like the style of this type of pendant here. The chain says Germany on it but I'm not sure if the chain is original to this but it is in the style of like the Germany, the older Germany jewelry so. And then this bracelet, I just love this here. This piece of glass, it's red and clear and kind of milky. Um, none of the stones are missing. There is a dark stone um, somewhere on here. This one is a dark stone but it's on the back of it so it doesn't matter but I love the style with these glass stones with the different colors in it and I paid two dollars each so the necklace is two dollars and the bracelet was also two dollars a little expensive but I was not walking away from this yard sale without buying something next yard sale I went to um, was way out of my range I drove really far to find it and I ended up like in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road had I looked at my map beforehand and see how far away it was I would not have gone but I'm glad that I did I got this really pretty vibrant pin uh, metal painted metal and it's just really pretty how could I not pick this up it's purple and this was a dollar I also got this set which is Sarah Coventry and this was also a dollar so I only paid two dollars at this yard sale and this is not my favorite Sarah Coventry set. Honestly, it's ugly, but how could I pass up this whole set for just a dollar? Comes with the ring, the earrings, and the brooch. The blue enamel has kind of rubbed off on here. I'll have to fix that, but can't complain for a dollar. Also at the same yard sale, there was a lot of free stuff. And I ended up getting this bag of jewelry for free. I thought this was just going to be plastic, but it is glass. The clasp is broken, but it is included in the bag, so I can fix that pretty easily if I wanted to. This is not my style of necklace. It's not something that I would go out of my way to buy, but it was free. And considering I thought it was plastic, I didn't think this was going to be anything exciting, but it's glass and it is pretty nice. Also got this blue enamel necklace here. It's a little bit dirty. It needs cleaned up and some of the enameling has come off of it. But I can just glue those back on, no problem. Right here's one that came off of it. I kind of like this um, enameling though, because it's kind of sparkly, and I like it. That's not why I grabbed this bag though. And then we have this bracelet with this matching necklace. And this feels like cheap plastic to me. However, you see the tag here. It's Swarovski. There has a swan on it there. Now, I don't know if this is fake or if this is actually Swarovski. I don't know if it's really worth anything, but it was in the free bag. Now, the reason that I grabbed this bag is for this. Mother of Pearl Beads. And they were free. It is broken. I can fix it. It is on a chain. It is not on a string. It's actually on a chain. But look how pretty they are. They just glow. They feel so nice. And also for free, not jewelry, but I got this old Mountain Dew bottle. I have like four or five of the tall, thinner bottles that have the painted label on it. And this one even has the cap still. It is a twist off cap, so I'm assuming it's from the 80s. Not super old, but I'm a big fan of Mountain Dew. Even though it gives me a stomach ache. It was free. I liked the bottle, so I grabbed it. Next up is a group of goodies that were gifted to me from my wonderful mother-in-law. 
I have this ring, but it's really pretty. I like the pink stone in it. Um, I expect it to be Avon, but it's not marked. But it does remind me very much of Avon. And I got this one as well. Same kind of thing. I like the marquee shaped stone on this one. But it is not marked with anything on the inside. I'd say it's probably like a size 9 or a size 10. And I wear more of a 6.5, 7. And we have this ring, which is an Avon ring. And this one does fit me. Really pretty purple color. The stones are cut so well. So nicely. They are sparkling like mad crazy because of how they're cut. And it's not even open in the back. But they sparkle that much. It's really pretty. And this is Avon. It's not marked Avon, but it does have a marking in it, which I looked up. And it's just a circle with a dot in the middle right there. That's Avon. And this one I can wear. It does fit on my finger. This is more modern. This is from 2004. Ooh, that's shiny. Ooh, that's going to blind you. And this is a bracelet and earring set. I do like these earrings. These, this is something that I would wear if I needed to look fancy or something. And here's the bracelet. It is a large bracelet. This one has a mag magnetic clasp on it here, which is kind of unusual. You don't see that very often. And it's kind of hard to undo with the left hand there. So that's kind of interesting. I don't have anything like that. I do really like these earrings that come with it, though. I always love box sets. I know this isn't vintage, but it will be in the future. <laughs> I have this really pretty set. This is actually Trafari. And I don't have any Trafari pieces. So this is my first, my first Trafari set here. And I would say this is probably from the 80s. Um, 80s to 90s. So vintage, but on the newer side very classy this isn't like your church jewelry this is like your i'm going to a fancy banquet jewelry that's that's what i would call this banquet jewelry and here we have this cute little pin this is avon from 1985 i was not alive in 1985 so it's definitely vintage to me and under the pin there it says avon really pretty plastic I'm not sure what this piece is made out of. I don't think it's metal. I think it's plastic to make it look like metal. But look how fragile this neck probably is. Like, I'm surprised it's not broken. I really like this pin, though. I would totally wear something like this on a fancy jacket. And the last piece is this really pretty Jerry's um, brooch. You can also wear it as a pendant. And the center is a moonstone, and I love moonstones. This is very pretty. I really like this a lot. And recently, a couple of days ago, I went to another sale. They did not have any jewelry that I liked, unfortunately. But they did have some Avon bottles, and I could not resist this pretty owl with the graduation cap. He's just so cute. And he is like halfway full too. There's still a lot. Still a lot of cologne in there. Wild Country Aftershave. Got a cute tassel on it. It's just cute. I like owls. Could not resist. So got this guy. I already forget what this is called. I want to say it's like Delphi Blue or Delph Blue. I can't remember what it's called. This is a skin softener. The top of it's actually plastic, which is weird. And it does still have the stuff inside of it, but it's really gross looking. And I'll probably um, scrape it out of there because it's disgusting. Ew. <laughs> it's really gross. Yeah, I'm going to have to scoop that out of there because that's just disgusting and, and unsanitary. I'm not sure what year this is from. I would assume the 70s because this is kind of a 70s style type thing. And I'm always really gravitating towards the 70 Avon stuff. But that's just disgusting. 
I will definitely be um, scooping that out and throwing it away. Blech. It doesn't smell good either. It's definitely really old. Surprise! I got some bonus earrings here. I was not expecting to go to the sale. This is from the church sale that I'm always talking about going to. It's my favorite sale. They had a lot of cute stuff there, but I only got two pairs of earrings. These just so happened to be Koro, so I had to pick those ones up. And they were in the same bag as these guys. And these say Japan on the back. And uh, they're very unique. They have little tiny beads glued to them. Kind of a rusty orange color. I also got these, and I paid a dollar for these two. Shoo! <laughs> Would you go away? <laughs> Apparently, it smells interesting to my cat. Hello. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hi. This is the third time I have edited this video because I keep going to yard sales and I keep buying more stuff. And I'd rather just have it all in the same video instead of making um, a new pile for a new video. So I just got back from the church sale that I went to last week. It opened again this week. And I got these two leaf brooches. And then I also got this circle one. It's not marked, but I don't have a circle pin in my collection yet. So I was originally thinking of selling these because this is not why... These were all in a bag together, and this is not why I bought the bag. This is why I bought the bag. This is much older, and I bought it because it is much older. You can tell by the clasp on the back. It is a C clasp, and that just means it's older. No markings on it at all that I can see, but this is why I bought this bag. And these cost $2. And then, this beautiful thing over here caught my attention, of course. This is the first thing that I snagged today. Today. <laughs> um, something is telling me that it is more modern. Um, it is iridescent. You can see a little bit of purple in there sometimes. just depends on the light. Uh, the back is textured, and that is what is telling me. Um, it's probably a little bit more modern than I would like it to be. Typically, the backs are smooth on more vintage-y things. Could be wrong. It could be still vintage. Maybe 80s. Uh, it'd be nicer if it was like 50s. But I really like the style of the leaves. And I don't think it's thermoset. But it's kind of a style that I really like. So I got that as well. So this is my haul for today. And on Tuesday, there is another yard sale that I'm going to. So I'm just going to hold off on exporting this video until I go to that sale because I'm going to add more to it, I'm sure. This is the last video edit. I swear I'm done buying vintage jewelry for a while. I just had some really good scores at the church sale um, that I went to yesterday. So got tons of stuff and I only paid $7 for everything, which is an amazing deal. I got this bracelet here, which is a little bit more modern, probably 90s, and it is missing two of the rhinestones, and it's very uncomfortable to wear. It's really pokey, but I just like the way it looked. It was kind of unique with the painted metal and the big rhinestones. I just thought it was pretty. I'll have to clean up some of the glue on some of the rhinestones as well. It's kind of thick on there, but I really like this bracelet, and... Uh, I'll keep it in with my vintage jewelry. Here's that glue I was talking about. I got a few modern things just because I wanted to. This is a Claire's necklace. It's just a piece of plastic that looks like a keyboard and it says I heart eighth note, eighth note. <laughs> um, I figured my daughter can wear it, I can wear it, whatever. We uh, both like piano, so can't really play it very well, but we both like it. This one, I am not sure if it's vintage or not. It is just a glass ball that's faceted with the Aurora Borealis coating on it. The chain it's on does not look like it is vintage at all. And I don't like the length of this chain. It's just a really weird in-between length that I don't like. But it's so sparkly. I really like having a disco ball around my neck. Apparently I actually wore this yesterday. 
that's how much I like it. I got this necklace, which I think is plastic meant to look like Mother of Pearl. And I kind of think this is just a gumball machine necklace, maybe. It's not as fancy as I was hoping. And it's pretty dirty as well. There's knots in the chain all over the place, too. I gotta get these knots out. But I like the Mother of Pearl style jewelry almost as much as I like Moon Glow. And speaking of Mother of Pearl, couldn't say no to this. I love the discs. I love Mother of Pearl discs. It's kind of like my thing right now. It's just really pretty. And this has a hook. So it's definitely vintage, no name on it, but I like it. It's shiny, it's pretty. And this was kind of an impulse buy. I just thought it was so cute. Art and Esther, probably married for 50 or more years. And this is pretty old, has a long pin on it, and it is a C clasp. And they're connected by a chain, and I just thought it was cute. Cute pin. And I have a story about this Moon Glow earring. Are you ready for this story? <laughs> so I'm walking around. I have all of this jewelry in my hand. I'm holding it like this. Just cupped in my hand. And I set everything down on, on the table. And I'm missing this other earring. Well, crap. I must have dropped it somewhere. So I went through all the boxes that I had gone through. I retraced my steps. And I couldn't find this earring. I was so upset. Because both of them were there. I had both of them in my hand. So I ended up putting this one back on the jewelry tray. Because I had lost it. It goes this way actually. Because I had lost it. Now it's so sad. So I get in the car and I start driving home. And I feel something in my sleeve. And it was this earring. <laughs> so after I picked up my daughter from school. I ended up going back to the church sale. To retrieve the other earring and it took me a long time to find it because it wasn't where I had left it and I was panicking thinking how would somebody buy just one of these earrings when the other one wasn't there it took me a long time to find it but here they are pretty orange moon glow orange is not my favorite color I don't know why I like these so much other than it's just moon glow but I'm happy to have them both and since I was there for the second time in one day, I bought a lot more stuff. I went back for these Moon Glow earrings. Pink ones. I have purple ones that are slightly bigger than this one, I think. I just love the Moon Glow. It's just so pretty. It's just plastic, but it's pretty. I had these in my hand initially the first time I was there, but I decided I was being too greedy. And I didn't want to gatekeep the jewelry section so I put some stuff back and paid for what I had and then I had to go back so I might as well pick up what I already had these are pierced earrings and I got these specifically to actually wear what is on my hand coffee grounds I have coffee grounds on my hand but they're purple they're kind of resiny they they do look older because the glue is yellow on the back so probably 80s but they're purple and I like them and I will wear these. These are going to go in with my jewelry that I wear, not in my, with my vintage jewelry. I got two stick pins. I thought these were just so pretty. I don't think this is real cloisonne. I think it's fake cloisonne. I don't know the difference exactly. But maybe you can tell me if this is real cloisonne or just made to look like cloisonne. I love the cloisonne style. This is the first time that I bought it, so. And this one, they, they came together, they were attached together. This one looks like a garnet, and that is my birthstone. So, I got those two stick pins. So I got this button, because the colors were cute. Usually when you see buttons like this, it's red, white, and blue, so the yellow and the pink was just kind of weird. And I also got this coin, which I don't know very much about. I did look it up, and it is a Bangladesh coin. But I like collecting weird shaped coins, and this is obviously a square, which is different. I don't think it's worth anything, maybe a dollar at the most, but I just like collecting weird coins, and this was in with the jewelry, so I grabbed that. I also have these earrings, which I confiscated out of my daughter's bedroom, 
She has a stash of vintage jewelry that I didn't know about. Um, she got it when her grandmother died. These say made in Germany. And I just like how weird they look. But she um, has lost a lot of the earrings that she was given. So she only has like single earrings, which are earrings that I really like and wish that I had and wish that she didn't lose. I also grabbed this owl. I love owls. I don't think it's Avon. I don't think it's marked with anything. Let me look. It says, um, looks like it says Balu, B-A-L-L-O-U, Regd, Regd. R E G apostrophe D. So I have no idea what that means. I haven't looked it up or anything. My daughter has a earring that is cranberry moon glow and it's beautiful, but I have no idea where the other one is at. I'm upset about it. I love moon glow so much. And I'm going to cool it on the vintage jewelry for a while because my box is completely full. I'm going to have to reorganize it because I can't close the box anymore. And I got to stop spending all this money. Oh, wait. There's more. I forgot something. Pause. I forgot that I bought more Avon. These are soaps, obviously. It says soap right on there. But I have just a weakness for Avon. I keep telling myself to stop buying it because it's not valuable. It probably never will be that valuable. But these are in the original box. In the original tins. And they're cute. Look at them. They're so cute. And you open it up. Has the original liner to protect it. And look. Look at those cute little kids and their puppy. On this bar of soap. Some kind of transfer wire. I'm not really sure how they do it. This one too. Has the original covering on it. And look at those cute kids hanging out, playing with their toys. How cute are these? I couldn't say no to these. They are practically free. Like I said, I, I paid seven for everything, so it's a good deal. These are cute. This one isn't in as good of condition. This is very, like, 70s pop art. It's really cute. That's my dad, Decal Soap. You're always there when I need you, Dad. How cute. And this one has a little bit of damage on the back. Looks a little rough. But look, it has two bears sitting under a tree. You're always there when I need you, Dad. So, yeah. That's everything that I got. But wait! There's more! I'm back and I have a few more pieces of jewelry to show you. Because my mother-in-law went antiquing yesterday and she bought me a few things. How nice of her! So first up, we have these really funky looking clip-on earrings. And my cat needs to sniff it once again. And on the back, they say Japan on them. They are made out of plastic. And I'm really tempted to glue a googly eye on it because they kind of look like eyeballs. And they're really funky and weird. Next up, we have this really pretty filigree type ring does it smell good <laughs> and i'm struggling to get my camera to focus on it this is not marked but it definitely looks like avon to me and this is not a rhinestone this is actually a stone it might be glass but it could be amethyst as well but it is open on the back and it is cold to the touch so that is um glass or stone there very nice Next up, we have these Sarah Coventry earrings. Took me a long time to find these online to identify them. And these are Marigold. That's the name of this. And I also have the matching necklace. Now this set also comes with a ring. So now I'm going to have to be on the lookout for the matching ring so I can have the whole set. She knew that I liked Sarah Coventry, so she recognized the name and decided that I had to have them. And I'm very happy to have them because I love having matching sets. 
And then we have this. This unassuming looking bracelet is actually really incredible. Is it incredible, Jelly? <laughs> there you can see it says Swarovski. Here is the Swarovski Swan Stamp. This sucker sparkles. Now, this is not vintage. I don't know the age of this. This is some fine jewelry right here. And my mother-in-law, she paid $7.00. This is like the score of a lifetime. <laughs> it's beautiful and fancy. And I'm going to have to find a really nice box to keep this in. Like something that's padded and like really secured. Because this is probably worth more than my entire vintage jewelry collection. So this is a special bracelet that I need to keep really really safe and in good condition so that's it I promise this is the last time I'm going to pop into this video and show you more jewelry major thanks to my mother-in-law as she keeps gifting me more and more vintage jewelry for my collection thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again eventually whenever I decide to make another video bye